guys, Diecast Empress here, back for a, another cars review. Now today's review is on a Thursday, which as you know, means it is a custom Thursday. But to don't think this space is going to cut it because, oh yeah, he's a big one. Let me get back to you on the size scaling here and we'll figure this out. That's a little better. We can now see what's going on a bit here. So here we have my custom made, uh, completely by myself, um, concept art version of the Tyranna Missiosaurus Rex. As you can see, you got the photo of how the concept art came out. And this is my interpretation of how that would look as a die cast itself. I'm a little bit off in terms of the colour. I mean, I've darkened it down a little bit for the die cast. And to be honest with you, whenever we got custom of uh, concept art, sorry, of any card that is perfectly matched to what the die cast would look like. I mean, if you were to take this concept art here of McQueen and this is the McQueen that we've got, we know and love. This is a uh, Cars 1 body McQueen. If we were to take this McQueen and look at that concept art, I mean, it's not the same colour red. And so the fact that I've gone a little bit of a different colour with the green here, I feel really isn't the end of the world because, as I said, we never get it to be exactly the same as the concept art, different materials, etc, etc. So this is my version. This is what I did with my custom dyno. Now, the way this came into life is that my uh, loving wife, she got me a... Uh, regular stock version for Christmas of this chomp and roll dino as you see here and then also bought me some spray paint and so I took it all apart I took this dino down took off both of the wheels and sprayed it all green first completely all green so as it all blended in I then took the wheels and popped them back on oh no I didn't I did the springs first so I gave a little bit of dirt and color to the springs to make them pop out a bit more so as they weren't just all green made them look a little bit better, coloured in the front springs and then popped the wheels back on. Now, these wheels are really easy to pop off, literally just get something nice and sharp and pokey, stick it in there, pop them out, you're all good. Wasn't that difficult at all. What I then did once I gave it all that lovely green colour, I went and painted the underneath, which is a bit of a nightmare to get in shot. But as you can see, I gave it a real different colour, nice and black under here with bits of silver to make it pop and stand out. Now, as you can see here, the silver goes all the way down and then I decided to leave the back spikes as they basic are, just because that's how it looks in the concept art. And once I was finished with all of the silver that I added on uh, onto the sides and the bottom, I decided to take a Molotov Chrome pe Effect pen, which is used very heavily by Adam Savage. He very much... Um, recommends them. Uh, if you don't know who Adam Savage is, he was on Mythbusters and is also a uh, special effects and prop maker for the movie industry and has done for like 25, 30 years or something ridiculous like that. But yeah, most known for his time on Mythbusters. Now he absolutely recommends the Molotov uh, Chrome pens. I'll leave a description in, the, in below if you guys wanted to get a set to do any customizing for yourself. And I'll also leave in the description below the green that I used on here in terms of the spray paint itself. But what I did was I then took those chrome pens and just touched up little of the high spots so as that they really pop and stand out. As you can see on the head here, looks like it's then a real metal piece instead of plastic. So it looks like he's been in the wars a little bit. Um, there's little bits everywhere, just sort of like the high spots just to make them really pop and stand out. I then also took chrome on the inside of the rims here, so they chrome and shine, and also made the bolt in the middle chrome, so that looks like it's a real metal piece as well. And then on the head, I blacked out around the eyes to make them look a little different than the normal dyno, and then also added touches of gold, as you can see here, running down the nose, just to make that a little bit different as well. And the last final piece I did to really make this dino look how he does in the concept art is I glued on some monster truck tires on the back. Because as we've seen in the concept art, the concept art dino has those little monster truck tires hanging off the back of it to make it really look different. Now, this dino was really easy to do. It really didn't take me long at all. Honestly, most of an afternoon, if that. 
longest was time was just waiting for stuff to dry. The wheels were simple. I literally just used um, liquid black paint, uh, sort of like um, paint pens, acrylic paint is the best slathered the wheels in as much acrylic paint as I possibly could and then what I did is I just used a cloth and just wiped it off as hard as I could tried to remove as much of that black paint as I could and then that black paint got stuck in the ridges and I couldn't then get it out which is what I wanted and it gave that effect of sort of dirty tires with the grey hanging out of it. Now this guy here I absolutely love I think he is a wonderful wonderful piece for my collection and sits proudly in my actual bedroom. I keep him in my bedroom with my other dino herself, my other custom Tyrannomyciosaurus Rex that now looks more show accurate, ac accru accurate, accurate. I swear I can speak English. So that's my two dinos at the moment. And I think what I'm gonna do to end this off here is show off the mouth that I still managed to keep um, red and we'll stick McQueen in there like that. And hopefully, she won't tip forward. Come on. Come on. No, shied. Oh, God, this is not going to work. There it is. Just stick her up like that and make her look very cool indeed. But as always, I've waffled on far too much for one video. So thank you so very much for watching, guys, and I will catch you all in the next one. Thanks, guys.